Hey watch people, welcome to Winding Crowns. Today we have the full review, a short one, but the full review of the Wise Diving. I did the red one, this is the blue one. But first, let's roll the intro. Hello watch people, my name is Hector and welcome to Winding Crowns. We're back guys, I am wearing the Timex Iron Man. Love this watch. Anyway guys, here it is. It is a good looking watch. It's a dive watch for sure. It's The company is Wise and this is the Wise Diving. It has the Fume dial which is kind of like a sandy looking texture to it. It is blue in the center but not too bright kind of, sort of subdued blue in the center and then it goes to a darker blue almost black to the outside as you can see it's got a lot of loom super luminova c3 on all the indices and the hands the hands are semi skeletonized you have the short stubby hour hand and then the longer minute hand and they're both skeletonized towards the center of the uh, the pin you have your running seconds hand with a loom pip towards the tip, towards the front end of it. Not quite at the tip, but closer to the tip. The indices are all circles except for the cardinal points at 3, 6, 9, and 12, which those are like a ovalish, kind of like a barrel turn to no shape at 3, 6, and 9. But the, the triangle at 12 o'clock is more of a rounded triangle, as you can see, kind of like the three, six, and nine are. Not quite rectangles. It is running a NH35. It's pretty unique. It's got a uh, sapphire domed crystal. You don't get any distortion like the blurring, because I believe it's double domed. You have a huge loom pip at 12 o'clock. Then you have all the little circles on where well, you have the little etchings all the way to 15, but you have at every hour you have the little circles. The cardinal points, which is three, six, and nine, have 15, 30, and 45, and then you have your big loom pip at 12. I do I do like those skeletonized or half skeletonized hands. Filled, they got a lot of loom on them. It just it says wise at 12 o'clock. It says diving underneath that, as you can see. And then you have automatic and 300 meter water resist. So it's a pretty clean dial. You do have your little white hash marks and you have the five, 10, 15, 20, 20, and so forth on the chapter ring. I like the fact that even though it looks a lot like a tuna, Seiko tuna, it, it's not because it has the wave pattern cut out on the shroud. And then you have your crown at three versus a four. And look at the huge stem. Look at that big crown and then that's a thick stem so it's not going anywhere. You wind here, pull to first position. Let's see if I can get it to do a date change. Let's see if I can get that. There it is. Then all the way to hack the movement and change the time. Push it back in. You can wind it and then you can also screw it in. The case back right here is pretty cool. It's simple, but it has like a bead blast finish. And it says Sapphire Crystal. And you can see Diving Series. Stainless Steel. And then it says Water Resistant, 300 meter automatic movement and then it has the wise logo with the word wise it's a it's a cool back look at that it's pretty nice i like the lugs too quick release on the rubber strap yeah and i like the subdued blue with the black or darker blue to the outside by the chapter ring that fume dial 
that sandy appearance of the dial is pretty cool as well a subdued you know you can change out the strap this is fkm rubber and it does come with a black fkm rubber if you want to even make it more subdued you just have a little touch of blue in the middle then your chapter ring and all that that fume black and then you got your black strap but if you want to be a bit more colorful you put it on fkm blue rubber easy to change because it's quick release got your big nice tang buckle with the sign up there wise it's really nice i like the three o'clock crown you know guys it's a 44 millimeter watch with an nh35 movement running at 21,600 beats per hour you know i haven't timed it but it's been keeping really really good time the time that i wore it i like the ar coating so you don't get it might be getting a lot of glare right now because of my lighting but really in everyday wear you don't get a lot of glare on it it does have a 22 millimeter spacing in between the lugs if you don't like these straps and want to put your own but these are really comfortable and nice so i don't know why you'd want to 360 nail stainless steel it's a good watch you know at 300 meter thousand feet that's i mean you can't ask any more for a diver from a diver good loom like i said c3 comes with a year warranty guys and you know with two strap options the more subdued black and then this nice blue this blue isn't too crazy blue it's it's a nice little subdued like baby blue sky blue it's a really nice looking watch guys i really like it i like the the bezel turns really nice real nice and clicky i like the way it turns you know it's not too difficult but some people say it's difficult but i don't really think it is my opinion right i mean it's a good looking watch 44 millimeters 22 millimeter spacing in between the lugs, but let's do a lug to lug right quick. I'm getting I'm getting like a 50 51 51 lug to lug. So it's a nice watch guys. Let's do a quick Let's do a quick wrist check. This is what it looks like on the wrist, guys. Pretty nice. And as they say down the barrel there. And let's do a loom shot. We got to do a loom shot, guys. There it is. Very bright. That 12 o'clock pip is bright, the hands. And you know, usually they say the hands are brighter than the indices. No, not on this one. They're equal, they're completely, they're exactly the same. The hands are no brighter than the indices, the indices are no brighter than the hands. That pip, everything matches. They're all bright as hell, guys. The whole thing is bright. They did a great job on the application of Loom on this one. Okay, let me turn the lights back on. So guys, if you, if you enjoy this type of content, then please subscribe to the channel, guys. Tell your friends about the channel. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate your comments, people. I really, really do enjoy reading them. And uh, hit the bell icon so you're notified of the next vid. And remember, never stop winding cranks.